Are you happy? Yeah. You. You happy? I've been asked by a lot of people, you know, what what makes you happy? And um, I think it's a big question, but I think at core it's also a very simple question. And I, I, I kind of answer this with two other questions, you know, what are you doing now? And what would you like to be doing? If what you're doing now is really making you happy, then you just continue building on that. But if what you're doing is not making you happy, then what are you gonna do about it? For me, I've also recognized that progress makes me very, very, very happy. I mean, are you doing things in your life right now where you feel like you are progressing? You're getting to that next level, you're, you're moving? Because for me, if you're not progressing, you're stuck. And if you're stuck for a little bit, then you start dying. Because boredom, eh, you might you might as well just not do it you know it starts seeping into other areas of life like has the monotony or the routine of getting up going to a job or doing something every day that you don't like has that started seeping into even like your relationship or your family for me that was very very important like doing something that i love and you know a lot of times i i feel like you know we get to a certain age you get to 25 and 26 and then all your friends look or your family look you're like oh you're not settling down i'm like settling down on what what what's to be settled i figure life is short we're only given a short window of time some people live all the way to 80 some live to 100 some don't even live beyond 20 some don't live beyond 40 so i'm like why should i assume that i have a hundred years to do everything that i like and why will i assume that i will only find that happiness in in, in marriage or in having kids, but there's a certain joy, I do believe, that you can find there, but not if somebody's rushing you to get there. And you also wanna make sure that you're, if I'm gonna have kids, I'm sorry, and, and this is just me, like, I grew up in a family where my parents were married. That's important to me. If that's not gonna be important to somebody that I am with, then I don't know maybe we wouldn't have kids and these are things that to me you just get off the table from very early like communication discussion so you know if i'm gonna have kids these you know this is how i would want to raise my kid this is this is how i'd like it to be but i also find that you know so many people compromise like we stop doing the things we love so you want to pursue music you want to paint you want to dance but because you got married and you had the kids, you say, oh, well, you know, I'm giving up all of that now. And then you start feeling like you're compromising to make the family work or to make your husband happy or for the husbands to make your wife happy. Or, you know, he's into cars, but he can't go hanging out with his guys to, to do things that are fun because you now you say, we have to make this sacrifice. But one thing I know is that if you make so many sacrifices in life over a long term period you start resenting the people you have to make the sacrifices for so my thing is have you been making more sacrifices just to be okay with everybody at the expense of your own happiness and where do you find a balance the pressure of this whole marriage thing you know you get to an age and people are you're not married yet you know, I'm a pitney yet. I'm like, okay, thank you, womb police. When I'm ready to have a child, I will. And when I'm ready to get married with that person who kind of sees life the way I see life, and he will not have to compromise on the things that he wants to achieve. Because to me, and this is from experience, just being in, being in relationships before, stuff don't work when people feel like they constantly have to make a sacrifice for it to work because then they're not being themselves like i'm not gonna give up music for for anybody i did it is what it is i'm not gonna give up real estate for anybody i did it is what it is and if there's something that they're passionate about like i would want them giving that up for me to to then come back 10 15 years oh you know it's because of you make never you, you that's not being happy like compromises yeah you may have to shift a few things to 
get through certain seasons or certain places in your life, but it can't be where you feel like you're constantly and you always have to do it. That's only going to lead to resentment. But achievement, you know, I think it's healthy for everybody to set, set some goals. Like, you know, you want to buy a house or you want to have some businesses or what just whatever you want to travel to mexico start saving a hundred dollars every single month until you get to the point where you can probably take that trip will you only be able to enjoy that trip if your husband came or your friends came could you go alone oh i've done that so many times i remember living in japan and really wanted to, to visit taiwan and we had planned with like some girls in my class who were from Taiwan and they were going to make the trip and like three days before the trip they were like oh um I don't think I'm going again you know what I did I got on that plane went to Taiwan I didn't speak a drop of Chinese but to me the experience was was going to be so much more than 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 not you know it's it's kind of funny how how we go through life in fear and I've, I've, I've had moments in my life where fear stopped me from doing so many things. But, you know, being cautious, I believe, is, is, is a bit different from just fear. <laughs> you know, because there are things to protect. There's your family to protect. There's, there's, yeah, well, whatever. Um, achievement. So achievement would be important, you know. And the confidence, like you have to find your confidence, like you just can't look for approval from everybody, you're not going to get it. You're not going to always get approval from that girl sitting in the next cubicle working beside you. Some days it's going to be cool with her, some days it's not going to be cool with her. Some days it's going to be good and you know, your boss pat you on your shoulder, oh good job, I'm so proud of you, you've, you've done this and it was done right, but what's making you happy? You see for me, like my confidence... It's not even really based on, maybe early in my life, like probably when I was 10 or 11 or stuff, you know, your, your, your parents give you, like my parents give you a very reassuring word, you can do it, you know, go after it, study really hard and anything you want, you know, you hear all those positive things, but beyond that, when you get to a certain age, like, <laughs> yo, it's all on you, you have to make sure that you know that the first, the first approval has to come from you, like you like you. Everything else after that is bonus. You have to like you. Like, that makes me happy. I just, I just get up and go. If, if it don't make no sense to me, I don't. Are you fulfilled? The things that you're doing, the things that you say you love, the things that you want to be doing, when you do them, are you fulfilled? I've had a lot of, you know, conversations with my friends. And um, they have things. They have the the progress. They've progressed great. They've gotten to the top of the companies. There, lots of popular people aren't fulfilled. Um, I I I was doing only music for a while until it just got the monotony of it. You know, being judged if you decide to change your hair because people think, oh, if you're gonna sing reggae, your hair needs to be natural because the people who listen to reggae apparently only like you if you have locks or only like you if your hair is natural and I'm like okay I guess you're not gonna like me then because I have to do Shireen first because I can't be a superstar in your version of my life I have to be 100% Shireen first and you just can't afford to have people diminish who you are and what you want to do what really makes you happy are you doing what makes you happy like, comment, share, and be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And let me know in the comment section below, what makes you happy? Yes, what does happiness look like? Share it with a friend if you think this could brighten their day. Get them a little cup of awesome for today. And um, yeah, I'm out. Thanks for watching a cup of day. See you next week. With the enemy until them get tired Got to get here eventually Clear me position, remember me Cause the mark of a great man is not in word Pour some love on this one